What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the Heat Report. And wow, James Harden has just put the Miami Heat on his list of preferred destinations uh, to be traded to. This just came out about 45 minutes ago from Shams. Um, so obviously, it's very credible. Um, his four trade destinations right now are the Sixers, the Nets, the Bucks, and the Heat. Before we get into the video, uh, just please make sure you guys subscribe um, to the channel uh, on the road to 150 subs uh, and like the video. Make sure you guys comment down below if you guys think this is a good deal for the Heat. If we were to trade for James Harden, what would you, what would you guys would be willing to give up? And anything else, um, I read every comment and um, you guys are the GOATs. So let's get in, right into um, James Harden wanting to be traded to Miami or one of uh, his destinations being Miami. Um, and I'm very, very iffy on this deal. Obviously, James Harden is arguably a top five player. Depends on who you ask. He's arguably a top five player. Definitely top 10 um, in the NBA. Um, leading scorer in the NBA, 36. He averaged about 36, 37 points last year, which is absolutely absurd. Um, and as a talent, he's, 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 he has, he's arguably like one of the best. He's, he is probably, you know, the, one of the best scorers of all time and arguably the best scorer right now, um, along with Kevin Durant. Now, James Harden would obviously raise our ceiling, make us a championship contender. Uh, cement us as one of the favorites to win the championship if we were already not cemented. Um, however, and this is a big, you know, um, this, there's a big catch to this. I don't know if I'd be willing to trade for James Harden if I had to give up Bam, Jimmy, or Tyler. Now, Bam and Jimmy are kind of self-explanatory. We, we paid Bam the max to be our guy for the, uh, for the future. Jimmy is our guy right now. Tyler, I still think that Tyler fits our culture very, very well, more than what James Harden does. I don't think James Harden fits the Heat culture at all. I think... If, you, if you've seen what he's doing recently, partying in clubs without masks and stuff like that instead of showing up to training camp, he does not fit our culture whatsoever. Now, if he comes here, I know Pat Riley will probably mold our culture into him. Um, but we have to be very careful with this. We can't just... It's not It's not just like we get James Harden and we're immediately the favorites. Like, There's a lot more that goes into it than just throwing players on a roster. We saw that with the Clippers last year. Chemistry really, really matters. If, if your team doesn't have chemistry, which is what the Heat have had, the Heat have probably the best chemistry in the league. That's why. That's one of the main reasons we went to the finals is because no one really cared who took the last shot. No one really cared um, who who scored the points, um, stuff like that. And I don't think James Harden is going to be like that. James Harden wants his stats. James Harden is a guy that... Um, we saw, we saw when Russell Westbrook requested a trade, everything with the Rockets came out. People were not holding James Harden accountable. James Harden was, you know, not being receptive to criticism. Russell Westbrook was the guy that was trying to hold James Harden accountable, but he wasn't being receptive to it. And it was just a bunch of stuff that came out with the Rockets as soon as Russell Westbrook requested a trade. Um, now, like I said, I wouldn't give up uh, Tyler, Bam, or Jimmy for Harden. Duncan, I'd be iffy on. Obviously, like Duncan was on the list of my untouchable players. Go watch that video if you haven't watched it yet. It's probably like my second or third video on this channel. But um, I mean, if we're trading for James Harden, then I might be okay with giving up Duncan. But Tyler, Bam, and Jimmy, I I I would not give them up for James Harden because we we want to contend for the now and for the future. We want to think about both. There's no point of paying Bam the max if every if everyone on our roster is going to be you know. 30 plus like we want someone to be with bam for the future um and having said all this the rockets are not stupid like they're not dumb like we, i just got a notification saying that the rockets want kd or Kyrie from the nets um if they were to trade with the nets so if they want kd or Kyrie, they're obviously going to want either tyler bam or jimmy like let's keep it real um there's like there's no way i, I pat riley would have to pull off some Houdini moves or some magic um, to get James Harden without giving up Tyler Bam or Jimmy. And I, uh, I, I don't know. I think it's like very split. Like I've seen people's reactions. Some people are saying, "No, don't get him. He doesn't fit our culture. We don't want to give up Tyler Bam or Jimmy." Some people are saying he raises our ceiling. We we want to be a, cemented as a championship contender. We want to be cemented as the favorites. Harden and Jimmy would be unstoppable. Um, and I'm I'm flip, I'm 50 50 on it. I'm very split. Um, 
I don't know. I just don't think. I don't think that James Harden, James Harden, like what he's doing off the court right now, does not fit our culture whatsoever. I'm gonna keep reiterating it because it's. I don't think he cares what I, I'm saying about him, but it's like absolutely unprofessional, like to not show up to training camp and to, you know, go out there during a pandemic, unmasked in clubs and all that stuff, partying is. That's not a good look, especially when you're a role model. You're a professional. A lot of people look up to you. Um, and on the on the court, he's phenomenal. But it's just off the court. I don't know if he's gonna mesh with Jimmy. Jimmy likes to hold his uh, teammates accountable. James Harden, I don't know if he's gonna be receptive to being held accountable because he's from what we've heard um, after Russell Westbrook wanted out. He's not that type of guy to to, to take criticism. He's not that type of guy to say, um, yeah, you're right. I can be better. Like he he. He wants to be the guy. He wants to be the guy to take all the shots. And maybe I'm like, maybe I'm, you know, maybe I have a misconception about James Harden. And if I do, I'm very sorry. But it's just what I've heard and what I've seen from like a lot of people, a lot of outlets coming out, um, especially after the Russell Westbrook trade. Um, now, uh, Bam, sorry, not Bam. Um, the Heat have said that they're not trading Tyler Hero. For James Harden, that that has already come out, um, and I mean that's 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 not I mean it's not surprising. Like Pat Riley is, he probably he knows what he's doing up there. Um, like I said, it'd be like a very very surprising. Like he'd he'd have to do something very very out of the ordinary t- in order to trade for James Harden um, without giving up Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, or Jimmy Butler. Like that's crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm like I said, I'm very split on it. I don't know if um, James Harden uh, in Miami makes sense. Like I've seen Chris Broussard say, it makes a lot of sense because you know it, it raises our ceiling. But I don't think Chris Broussard knows about our about our culture and our chemistry like that. And I don't know if we want to disrupt that with a guy that doesn't like to be doesn't like to hold his teammate be held accountable by his teammates and all that stuff that doesn't fit our culture, especially with the stuff he's doing off the court. So, like I said, I'm 50-50 on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would James Harden be the right trade for us? And if you guys would trade for James Harden, who would you give up? Um, I've seen a lot of Heat fans saying, we don't, want to, we don't even want to give up Duncan. And you got to let something go. Like, we, we can't hold on to everyone. We, we have to trade something. Like, that's the problem with some of our fans. Like, it's not going to be Kelly, Kelly Olenek and Kendrick Nunn and like a couple picks. Like, that's not James Harden is a top 10 player in this league. We're going to have to give up something. Um, the Rockets are not stupid, especially because they just said they want to Kate. Like before I was like, oh, maybe we can finesse them a bit, you know, trade them a couple, you know, pieces that we're not really going to use. But then I just got the notification saying that they wanted KD and Kyrie from the Nets or KD or Kyrie from the Nets. So obviously they want something back in return that's substantial and we're going to have to give up something um, in order to get him on our team. So uh, like I said, guys, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments, who would you give up for James Harden? And if if you would do this James Harden deal and if you would not, um, let me know why and anything else that you, that you need to get off your chest about the heat. Um, the comment section is right there down below. Make sure you guys subscribe. Um, as usual, road to 150 subs. We're on about 120, 122 right now. Um, and like the video. And as always, hit the bell so you guys don't miss any video in the future. Um, preseason starts in about 14 days for us. I mean, not 14, four days for us, which is actually very exciting. And I will be um, reporting, not reporting, but reporting after that game as to what I saw. Um, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Peace.